Am I editorial enough yet? Marking your time on wall. Hey guys, it's Naira. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. Today I'm doing this super pretty, like, I feel like a fairy princess. Like, this is very, like, majestical and fairy-like. I just feel fluttery. Like, with the glitter and the long, fl like, flirty lashes. I don't know. I just feel like a fairy princess in this look. It's super editorial, not something you're gonna wear, you know, to work don't wear this to the office unless it's that kind of office you know what i mean but this is just a super fun creative look i have been needing some creative release in my life because i'm a creative soul and it's so hard being creative soul working in corporate america if you guys want to see me do this super editorial look then thanks for clicking and keep watching okay so i have this super dramatic extra look going on in my head that i really hope i can bring to life because usually if I envision something, it, you, usually if I envision something, it doesn't come out exactly how I picture it, but I really have high hopes for this. Kind of have a vision, but at the same time, I just want to see where things go a little bit, I guess. I have my base on already. I have on foundation, concealer, and brows. Um, nothing else, no powder, no, no nothing else. Just my absolute base. I'm gonna go into the James Charles Morphe palette. Ooh, please, I know he's canceled. Don't drag me for using this palette. Um, I'm gonna go into the James Charles Morphe palette and I'm trying to think if I wanna do like a red or like a pinky tone. After having what can only be described as a creative meltdown, I've decided I'm gonna do more orange tones. I'm going to start building this color up um, on basically the whole lid and then deepening up just the outer portion of my eye with this shade right here. Maybe a little bit of this. This is pretty much exactly what I was going for. Um, this super light, like dusted, almost like airbrushed from the from the lid, like from the crease to the face to the cheek. This is pretty much exactly what I was going for. And it ended up being blended really nicely um, and it's super editorial. So now I'm going to finish off the eyes. I just want to do some gold glitter up in here. So yeah, I'm going to get some gold glitter and just very loosely, very editorial like put it in the inner corner of our eyes. What you think you know? So boom, am I editorial enough yet? Oh my God, I got glitter in here, but it's okay because I got hair in there too. So it's like, everybody's invited. Everything can go in there, it doesn't matter. Glitter sticks to you better than glue. It looks cute like that though. I'm gonna put on my lashes. Putting on lashes like on camera is always awkward. So I'm gonna do it off camera. Okay, I look so cute, don't I? I look like I'm gonna be on the cover of Vogue. I'm not though, I'm broke. So let's move on. All right, I wanna take a little bit more of this color for my chin. I'm gonna have to dip in one more time. Let's dip in one last time. One for the road, shall we? Oh, I'm really gonna have to blend that. Wow, I hope I didn't just ruin this. That'd be very on brand for me though. Ruining a makeup look at the very last second, like after you already like everything, super on brand for me, very much my taste. All right, now we have to go into highlight because I want to bring out the like some more gold in this look. Like I wanna really, really 
focus on red and gold. And right now the only gold we have is obviously in the corner of our eye. So I'm going to take the Wet n Wild Highlighter in Fire. This is, was a part of the Zodiac Collection. Sorry, but my lips look so cute with a little bit of pink above them. I can't stop looking at myself. I'm a narcissist. All right, let's move on. Taking this and just highlighting really, really prettily. That's not a word. <laughs> I need a dictionary. You can't tell me that this gold highlighter on top of that red don't look good. Like you, you literally couldn't say that. You'd be a liar. Now tell me what exactly I'm supposed to do for my lips. It's no secret that I'm extremely basic. So I'm just going to do this nude lip lingerie and maybe just maybe some gloss in the middle. Oh my God, this lip lingerie is running out too. It's my favorite color. I knew this was running out and I still grabbed it. Why do I like refuse to replace it? What's wrong with me? It's like if I have a makeup product that's running out instead of replacing it, I'll avoid using it for months so that I'll revisit it a few months later and then be like, oh, it's empty. Why do I still own this? I hope you guys enjoyed this video or you liked the look or I taught you something or inspired you. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me a like and a comment down below and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I will see you in the next one. Muchas besitas.